Black home. I'm so so excited to have another big adventure vlog for you today. I am here with Evan again. He's back there <laughs> Sanitizing uh. as one does in 2020 and we are here with Canadian Wilderness Adventures to do a 4x4 buggy tour today I Love a good motorized sport So we are gonna get geared up get out there and get exploring here in the Callahan Valley Which is just 20 minutes south from Whistler Village. So let's get it guys. Get out there and get ripping. Safety is always first, kids. Evan let me some of his fancy goggles, so goggles on. <laughs> yes, I love this. <laughs> Do I look like a gangster? So before we get going for the day, we actually have a training session with the rest of our group up here. So we are gonna learn how to drive these four x four buggies and yeah, all the safety things that we need to know. Have a safe and fun day. <laughs> very first stop of the tour and that is Goldmine Lake. <gasps> Look how beautiful. This is just like, ah, perfect way to start the day guys. Out here ripping on some buggies. You guys know me anytime I am outside adventuring and just like, ah, oh, basking in the nature. I'm a happy, happy girl. face is gonna be in shambles right now. Holy Lipton, what a freaking day. We have just made it back to the base camp here and that was probably the most incredible way you could ever start your morning if you are looking for a rad adventure here in Whistler. I've gotta tell you, I have never done a four x four buggy before. It's kind of like a blend between like an ATV and like a Jeep would be the best way to describe it. And it is so fun. I'm not gonna lie, I got a little too excited when we were driving and started ripping maybe a little bit too hard. So hopefully there's no damage to the vehicle, but did my best. But yeah, that was a super fun experience and honestly a really unique way to see uh, the Callahan Valley here in Whistler from a totally different vantage point. We got to see some epic views, some lakes, and most of all, we got to adventure, which is my favorite thing. So thank you to the team at Canadian Wilderness for having us. That was Oh, so much fun and I definitely want to come back and do some winter adventuring with this team as well because they do offer sledding and a bunch of other stuff. So we're gonna to have to get back here in the winter and do some winter adventuring as well. Comment below if you would like to see that because I feel like that would be really, really, really rad. I made myself a little bit of a healthy vegan burrito for lunch. Um, I used to cook so much on my channel and when I was traveling I would always show you guys sort of like what I was making and I stopped doing that recently. I don't know why so I'm gonna eat this bad boy and then we're gonna get back out there and keep exploring more of Whistler. So cheers to a great morning and a delicious little healthy lunch here.
It is much later in the evening now and I just honestly spent my afternoon <laughs> working on the computer and I went for a jog and just was like chilling out a little bit. But I wanted to share with you guys one of my favorite secret little sunset spots here in Whistler. Um, it's not super popular, but I really like it. Basically, you can see behind me, ooh, where are they? They're back there somewhere, but there are the Olympic rings and this is actually called the timing flats. This is where they would time the athletes during the 2010 Olympics. So there's just like a lot of really pretty grass and yeah, it's just like a nice spot to chill out, bring a blanket, bring a bottle of wine and watch the sunset. So we are gonna do just that. We have just been enjoying a very mediocre sunset <laughs> tonight, not gonna lie. The sun is mostly behind the clouds. It came out for like a hot second there, but it is what it is. Not every night is a perfect sunset, but it's still gorgeous out here. I just, yeah, super, super happy. But something I didn't actually tell you earlier in the vlog or we didn't really talk about, you're obviously gonna know because you've seen the footage already, but I finally bit the bullet and got myself a drone. I ordered the Skydio 2, which is actually a pretty like new piece of technology that I'm really, really excited about. Basically this drone, I have a beacon and it will follow me on its own. It completely autonomously flies itself. It's incredible. Today, uh, when we were riding the buggies, that was actually my very first test using that in sort of a pretty challenging drone environment. And it was so impressive. It literally followed us and it avoids objects. It avoids trees it was so crazy cool so I'm really excited to have a drone and be able to show you guys where I'm at from the sky um, I've had actually quite a few comments <laughs> requesting drone footage so I'm very happy to finally be able to provide that for you it's been a long time coming it just like took me a minute to decide on which one to buy and I ultimately decided on the Skydio because I didn't want to have to deal with like gamer controls and like flying the DJI just seemed really challenging to me so so far far really really happy I'm still figuring out like how to fully use it so as the videos go on hopefully the footage gets more and more epic but yeah that was kind of like a big thing that I really like just got today but I think I'm actually gonna end today's vlog here uh, I'm gonna go grab some dinner and just chill out for the rest of the night so thank you so so much for watching make sure you leave this video a thumbs up say hi in the comments you guys know I love to chat in the comments like literally all day every day <laughs> so say hi um, I love you. Thank you for being here, and I will see you very soon. And I'm shooting in the wrong mode. Good job. Good little boom, yes. Okay, let me. Whoa, what's happening? This is not. Mm.